Modern Warfare 3 has honestly introduced a lot for us to grind out here. The most notable of things, of course, is camos, but there's another introduction that was added that gives value finally to daily challenges just beyond XP, and there's way more to it than you may initially realize. So much so that you might not be able to unlock all of your weaponry and other things you want to use because of this. So today we're letting you know exactly how you should be going about this and how you can unlock these things. So as we go along, drop your thoughts down below. What do you think of the game so far if you've gotten into it? If not, what are you going to jump into first? If you enjoyed the video, you find it at all insightful. Do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe for the best in news, guides and tutorials, tips and tricks, class setups, and more. We got you covered. If you'd like to join us on the road to 600,000 subscribers, I'd truly love to have you. Additionally, use code Espresso for 30% off G Fuel. More on that later. And if you want to come hang out with us as we grind, we'll be live for a good chunk of the day and a ton going forward here. So if you want to join, I'd love to hang out with you. My Twitch link is down in the description. Anyways, let's talk about this new feature, Armory Unlocks. So Armory Unlocks, what are they? Well, first, there's something that everyone gets. Unlocked at level 25, players will gain entry to the Armory Unlocks, where it's detailed to be challenges to unlock guns, equipment, perks, streaks, and cosmetics. Seems pretty straightforward, even though you might not really recognize exactly what that entails and how much it goes in depth with that, but the way to view these is to just simply be on the play tab as if you were about to queue into any match, and from there, hit triangle and it'll bring you to that new armory unlock menu. Right now, there's a total of 58 armory unlocks to work with that can help you advance in various numbers of ways, but categorically, you have things to unlock like weapons, aftermarket parts, perks, equipment, field upgrades, and kill streaks. But these are things on a smaller end of, say, things like weapon attachments that you can kind of earn a shortcut to. One of the things I ended up getting was the 45 round mag for the Bass B, unlockable through this armory unlock, or if I ended up just waiting until I progressed my weapon to level 19, I'd end up getting that as well. But I ended up using that sort of fast track shortcut method, and I got it before then. But then when you take a look at it a little further, you get past the things that may not be so important to you, but then you get to some stuff that you might actually really care about. For the armory unlocks, there's a bunch of key portions of of the game that are locked behind these. Weaponry, there's a handful of weapons of the DG-58. That's also unlocked as well with a blueprint from the campaign completion, if you did that. But additionally, things like the FR-556, the Sidewinder, the MTZ-762, WSP-9, Rival-9, Striker-9, Holger-26, MCW-6.8, DMR-56, the MTZ Interceptor, KV Inhibitor, WSP Stinger, and the Karambit are all locked via Armory Unlock. Perks of the Marksman Gloves and Assault Gloves, the Covert Sneakers, so your dead silence is locked behind this, the Threat Identification System, the Signal Jammer, the Hijacked IFF Strobe, the Ghost TV Camo, and the Data Jacker, the Lethals and Tacticals of the Proximity Mine, Drill Charge, Semtex, C4, Breacher Drone, Flash Grenade, Snapshot Grenade, Shock Stick, Stim, Tear Gas, and EMD Grenades, your Fueled Upgrades of the Trophy System, Inflatable Decoy, DDoS, Loadout Drop, Tactical Camera, Heartbeat Sensor, Suppression Mine, Anti-Armor Round, and recon drone, and then things like the streaks of the advanced UAV, care package, cluster mine, Wilson, mortar strike, juggernaut, emergency airdrop, VTOL jet, gunship, and bomb drone. So a lot of functional stuff is unlocked via these armory unlocks and locked behind these challenges that aren't necessarily just in conjunction with being a shortcut. There is no way in that level 1 to 55 natural progression of your military ranks that you end up getting these items organically. Now, a big portion of what we did just mention, especially towards the end of that list, is more so like Modern Warfare 2 carryover items. So I guess kind of a way to re-unlock those so that not every single class or streak set would end up being things you may be used to. In that sense, like I kind of get that one, but a very weird system for the rest Absolutely. And because of that, I think this is probably the most important new unlock system that we need to understand how we can actually use these, how we can earn these new items. So how does it work? Well, it is pretty straightforward to a degree, but then it kind of gets to be a bit tedious more than anything else. Each item that you want to unlock tasks you with completing X amount of daily challenges to earn that specific item. Not every single item will have the same amount of daily challenges that it tasks you to complete. Some will be two, some will be three, some will be upwards of eight daily challenges to complete. The DG-58 that I unlocked requires only three daily challenges to be completed to unlock. But here's where the problem comes up for something that locks away so many important items. After you complete your three daily challenges, you don't get any more. 
the only way to progress further as of recording this is to consistently win. You won't see it when you haven't completed your challenges for the entire day, but after you complete those three dailies, you'll see the bonus challenge segment is replaced then with bonus of win matches to earn more points with a zero of one, and that will never reset. You'll never actually hit that cap. You can still win as many games as you want in that 24 hour span. It is just something that it's the only challenge and only way to get additional points for that. So every single win will count then as a point towards those unlocks until your daily challenges of refresh, which looks to be perhaps midnight local time, maybe midnight Eastern, 9 p.m. Pacific. Don't know where you guys may be if it is something that is different. I just know what I have in front of me. But that means if you have, let's say, the Sidewinder battle rifle that you want, that requires eight daily challenges to complete. So you can either spread that out and complete eight challenges over nearly three days worth of challenges, or you can end up completing those, getting three challenges unlocked, you have five left, and then winning five matches per se. Or if you completed and unlocked other items, it's going to take eight wins to end up getting those eight points towards unlocking that. So winning is important again. PTFO brought to life in the form of progressing through your genuine game unlocks. So that means if you want to do things like the camo grinds for mastery, you want to use any of those streaks or weapons in matches or perhaps in Warzone later down the line next month, you're going to need to consciously do challenges that you may otherwise not, and to a degree, play the objective beyond that. So on one hand, I do think it's kind of a cool concept to incentivize playing the objective for doing your daily challenges for more than just XP, but on the other hand, Personally, I think the stakes are kind of too high, at least initially speaking. Maybe this is just the grinder in my mind as a creator trying to get everything done ahead of schedule and ahead of most players so that I can end up getting those guides to help you guys out as much as possible. And maybe it's sort of a privileged thought process because of that, but I think the core stuff should be accessible at base all the time. I can understand maybe for the reintroduction of Modern Warfare 2 streaks and equipment, but for perks and especially weaponry, I feel like you should be able to just rank those up and unlock them more organically in that 1 to 55 as you normally would. Grand scheme of things, it's probably going to be one of those things that I look back on after the year's completed where, just like the weapon platforms last year, it was really annoying while doing that where I had to use a different weapon to unlock a different weapon that I wanted to use. But truth be told, after I completed unlocking all of my weapons and ranking them up, I didn't think about that once throughout the entire year. So it's very possible that could be the same thing here with that. So right now I feel like it's probably not gonna change. So I'm just gonna have to grind it out, but upfront, I don't like it. Seems like it's one of those things that we're changing just to say that we change things. I think this has a lot of cool potential in the upcoming seasons with the additional rewards we see as players that we could see introduced, where maybe if you want gameplay oriented stuff, you could maybe have a seasonal vest added each season where you get that new sort of class of play style that maybe unlock that for eight points after its introduction. Maybe an exclusive camo for like 20 or more points, maybe a blueprint. I do think that there is a lot that can be done, but personally, I'm hoping it's less functional related in terms of unlocks and more so cosmetic related. Initially, if I were to give my pitch here for what I'd change right now, I'd firstly say to add all these things into the leveling system and keep the unlocks as shortcuts. Admittedly, I think Sledgehammer with this, if we were to follow that, they're kind of stuck because, I mean, you want to give meaning to them and you want to give weight to them, but at the same time, after that 1 to 55 grind, well, there'd be no point to end up using any of those armory unlocks in any degree unless we had a genuinely classic prestige system where it reset every single time you prestige so that you could re-unlock something at a higher level instead of having to wait to get to level 51 or something to unlock it. But more consistently, I think the easier thing to manage here with this would be to add a consistent rotation of daily challenges. And what I mean by that is that right now, after you complete those three, you have to move at a snail's pace for the win criteria. It takes at best like 10 minutes for one point to count towards that. So yes, it is something you have to grind out, but I think it'd be a lot easier and a lot more welcomed of an idea if instead of completing those three and having to wait until midnight local time or whatever, for that to refresh, you ended up just getting perpetually another three cycled in there, another three challenges to complete that you could just infinitely do three, three, and three and get those points as quick as possible. Sure, maybe introduce a bonus for like every three or four wins so you still want to play the objective, but I think that would be a more accessible and probably more welcomed way for the system to work. But 
Anyways, that's not how it works. That'd be my pitch though. And that is what you need to know about the Armory Unlock system here introduced with Modern Warfare 3. So that said, that's what we're going to call it. What do you guys think of this here? Do you like the idea? Do you see the potential in it and maybe aren't so fond of it right now? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But before we wrap everything up, make sure to check out my friends over at G Fuel. Code Espresso can get you 30% off your entire order to fuel your COD grind this COD season, whether it be weapon levels, camos, you name it, G Fuel's got you covered. Personally for me, G Fuel's like my cup of coffee in the morning every day. Gets that productivity in the day going. So I'd highly recommend the flavors like Pog Juice, my team Carnage's flavor, Strawberry Banana, the Morbius Nectarine flavor, Hype Sauce, Pink Drip, star fruit tons of other ones here so if you guys are interested at all in trying it out for the first time or grabbing a restock again now is as best of time as any with a 30 percent off discount with code espresso linked down below but that's where to call it so let me know your thoughts once again if you enjoyed the video you found it at all insightful do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel make sure you subscribe so it's a single thing we're doing all things modern warfare 3 here as we gear up for a very busy next couple of weeks here so love to have you in the community for now though thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you later take care and peace